Hello YouTube, I am here to um, walk you through this program right now. Um, but before we do that, I want to basically get the files we're going to use for MCreator. So in the last uh, tutorial, I basically showed you how to install Java um, JDK and um, uh, M Crater and uh, Techni. So today I'm going to cover the other aspect of things, and that's the um, textures and um, editing. So um, first, we need to go to our um, Minecraft directory. Now, if you haven't run Java or Minecraft yet, uh, you're going to have to do that. Um, it doesn't matter which version you run it as. It could be the, a newer version or it could be an older version. We just need some files from it. So percent app data percent and then a roaming folder. Now if you want to sh make it a little more simple you can send this to um, desktop and it will have a shortcut so you can just right click on it and you'll be there. Um, so Ah, crash reports. Gotta love them. Alright, so now we have our .minecraft folder and we're going to go into versions. I'm going to go into 1.8 since that's the newest version. And then I'm going to go into the jar, but I need to go into the jar. So we're going to use either WinRAR, 7-Zip, or any other archive program that you use and we're going to go um, I'm just going to click open and you might be a little different if you're using a different archive program but um, so now that you're in your jar um, you want to go to assets minecraft and basically copy this folder right here to your desktop. So textures. The other thing that we're going to need um, is, um, I think that's it. So thought I, I thought there was something else, but there isn't. Um, no. All right, so that's all you need. Um, you have your textures folder now and basically what's in here is all the textures that Minecraft uses um, so blocks will be in blocks and you can find all different tor um, types of textures and um, basically you can use them and make your own or you could use this as a template um, so Basically, what I think we're going to do today is make a simple um, hmm, what should we do? Obviously, I need to show you something with mCreator and how to use it, but it's going to have to be a block. Um, Okay, let's make something called marble. I think that would be a good idea. So we're going to copy these two textures, which are 1.8. They, if you don't have opened up this version, then um, it won't be here because this is added in 1.8. But we're going to go edit. Now they're very interesting textures, but um, I'm going to add a little bit more detail like um, maybe change the color a little bit and well let, let me just walk you through what we have so um, so we have our layers and this basically acts as um, well I'll show you um, if I were to create a new layer 
and lower that down quite a bit and change that so it's like that. If I were to put this number right here and then I could switch between layers. Now this isn't really there because if I were to put it below it won't show but if I put it up it will. Um, now the thing about layers is you can cut and paste and it will only act as on that one. So you can have multiple layers and you don't need to worry about you know copying and pasting all these block type things so it's good for using transparent pictures and stuff. Um, this is basically your color palette. So you, you can go into advanced and you can change choose a little more detail or less detail and um, it has a little palette thing right there that you can choose from if you want to choose a color from there. Now your tools, um, this, that, 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 this, and that are all your selection tools. Um, these two here are your view tools. Um, this is your paint bucket, that's your, well, this basically does that. Um, kind of gives it a two effect, so if I were to do that, you can see that it changes a little bit more. Not the greatest for seamless textures though. Alright, so the next thing is the paintbrush, so you can kind of acts, I don't know, you can change that on or you can turn it off. Um, basically this thing right up here is if you want it to kind of blur around the edges which would be more suitable if you were, I don't know, um, making well, I would personally use it if there was a texture underneath it, but other than that, no. Um, this is more block form and it doesn't give it a transparent around the edges, so that's why it looks a little more pixelated. Um, it all depends on what you're using it for. Now, with the brush size, you can change the brush size. And, again... Um, your eraser so you can erase things and again you can only erase certain blocks or uh, an area of it. Um, your pencil, ben the pencil basically acts like the brush if it was I don't know like if I were to keep it there at one pixel it's the same thing as a brush. Um, this is your color picker so if you want say a certain color and then you could basically go like that and add your own color or add the color that it's already in your image. Um, this I haven't really experimented with and it gives me errors every time I use it so I don't usually use that. Um, this I really have no clue but this is pretty cool. Well, let's raise it a little. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, I don't know what this does, but it seems to um change. Oh, I think it chooses it based on what color it's. I don't know. That's cool. Alright. Um, I didn't know that. Um, your text tool, and then if you want to draw a line, it's probably really big. So if you wanted to draw a line across. Uh, your shapes, so you have a bunch of shapes that you can choose from. Um, I use paint.net for my video icons and stuff, so. Alright, so next on our list is to basically cover everything in here. So this is all your 
basic um, exporting tools named importing tools so uh, you can import save and all this other stuff um, your edit and this is like copy paste and undo redo so anything that you have done you can edit it um, view is basically um, you can turn on grid if you want or have a ruler um, I don't really use either of those but um, yeah so basically anything to do with your view image is basically um, well has to do with all with your image so if you want to resize it resizing is a lot different than um, canvas size now canvas size is the size in total and it will add on to or take away from the image resize will resize it to that shape um, flip horizontal and flip vertical um, you'll be using those quite a bit if you're using wanting to make it a seamless texture um, rotate clockwise another this is all your rotation and stuff so that's for your image now it's quite separate separate from your layers layers is um, uh, just for that layer so it just works with your layer that you're using um, adjustments adjustments are basically things that affect the whole photo um, so if I wanted to make it transparent I have this is a plugin that I use so I am going to cover the plugins and I'm going to give you a link to download what I'm using but you can um, make it tr transparent, uh, change the hue of it, which I'm going to do, make it a little whiter, mm, not so much contrast. So I do that, and then Something, I don't know, work with a little bit of different shades. And now I'm just doing an example of what I would personally use. Now green wasn't really what I was going for, but whatever. Maybe make it a little darker. Green marble. Marble. It's a marble white. <laughs> Maybe it's extremely rare and only found at extreme depths. Huh? <laughs> Alright. So now that we have sort of an image that it looks interesting. Um, what I'm going to be doing is showing you effects now. So effects are basically have a few of them. Uh, th there's some that doesn't just come with paint.net and you'll probably see that I have a lot more effects than what you guys will have if you just download it and use it but um, I work on a lot of graphical work and I like to having have uh, whatever is available on plugins I can use to my benefit so um, uh, so basically you can browse through here test a whole bunch of stuff out and um, yeah but one that I have is called Seamless Helper and this will basically show if it's seamless or not. So as you can see here it's pretty seamless. It 
won't have any problem with um, overlapping or anything like that. So now the second thing that we had, we have this now, we're good with that, um, is our smooth texture. Now th this is going to basically, um, what I'm going to do is use the transparent, um, well first smooth the um, image, so what I'm going to do for that is use the dream effect. Not that high though. Maybe about one. Mm, no. Alright, so maybe I'll use this one. Yeah. Don't usually use this one, but. Then what I'm going to do is add a little bit of noise. Not a lot of noise, just a little bit of noise. So... About 11. And the next thing that I'm going to do is... Take the pencil and transparent. Maybe that's going to be too late. Gonna bring down the alpha. Bring it up a little more. Then I'm going to do the same for the black, so... And it's simple as that. So now we have our two textures. Um, and what I'm going to do is save it as PNG, it has to be PNG. And we're going to save it to our desktop and we're going to use it for our basic block tutorial. So, I'm um, going to call this Mossy Marble Alright, so that's a basic quick tutorial, well, as quick as I can make it, on um, paint.net, and um, we'll be working a lot with this program, or at least I will be. It might not be in the videos, but I might have everything prepared for the next video each time I finish one, so you might not see much of it, but if you want to use this, then you're more than welcome. Um, it's really simple and easy. I'll make sure to leave the um, my plugins and um, file types um, for you guys to download. And um, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment.